episode where I'm doing a full day of eating. Um, it's going to be similar to what you saw before, but there'll be a couple small changes in there um, just to show you guys kind of how I go about my day to day. This will be how I eat for basically the whole week. Um, what you did not see this morning, I got up at 6 a.m. and made a shake with MRE light, 60 grams of protein, and with that I had one banana, and then I went back to bed to chill. Yeah, I weighed in at 2.51 this morning, which I'm pleased with. I feel pretty good. I feel like, you know, it's <clears throat> sitting on me well. Ready to go, just waiting on my peppers to finish cooking. Then I'm gonna throw in two eggs. <laughs> cooking I wanted to uh, just talk about my workouts a little bit uh, my workouts are quick and short and like to the point um, I mean they're very focused in one area I work out every single day my split right now starting with today is shoulders tomorrow's arms then we've got hamstrings on Wednesday to back width so like lats then we've got chest on Friday, and then Saturday is quads, and Sunday is back thickness, so like lots of rows. And, I mean, I am so sore doing this split. Like, my hamstrings and my quads, my back is so sore right now. I mean, the things that feel good are what are due to be working out. Like, my shoulders feel good and my arms feel pretty good. Yeah, I'm just always amazed that I can do so little in lifting. Because, I mean, I kill it for like 30 minutes. And I get in 10 really hard working sets. And then I get out of there. And it, it amazes me how sore that that can make me, you know. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's very focused. It's very intense. Um, those 10 sets are failure or near failure. I feel like I've got a cold coming on. I feel something in the back of my throat. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys my workout split and how that's been going. And I'm really liking it. So we're not going to be changing that anytime soon. <laughs> My blood pressure was in the 130s over the 80s, and that's pretty much the average for me, is about 133 over 81. And I understand that that is considered high. I understand that that's considered, you know, pre-hypertensive or whatever. But the thing is, is people with more muscle have higher blood pressures. Now, the thing is, is you don't want to have a high blood pressure that's in the 150s over 90s or 160s over 100s and so on. That's bad. Like to have it in the 150 or higher and the 90 or higher is what you want to avoid and watch out for. So that's why I check my blood pressure, you know, a few times a week just to make sure everything's okay, especially when I'm 
trying to bulk right now. I feel like me having this little cold coming on might be uh, might be a small reason. It, it could have elevated it a little bit, um, but even then. In the 130s over the 80s, I'm totally happy with because, you know, a year or even two years ago, it would read something like 150 over 90 or 160 over 100, and that, that is bad. That is what you don't want, but would I like to get it lower? Yes, I'm working on trying to keep it as low as possible while gaining as much muscle as possible, and I... You know, the ways that I'm doing that are number one, doing cardio on a daily basis, getting in at least 30 minutes around my workout or on its own. Um, the other thing is trying to avoid overeating my carbs, trying to avoid sugar, trying to eat and stick to my diet. Um, last night we were out in the suburbs and I did have ice cream, which I have not had in quite a while. So, I mean, that could have been part of what elevated it too. Um, so, the fact that it was in the 130s over 80s, I'm happy with. So, you know, guys, don't, you, the, you need, you don't take that out of context. Don't take the fact that, you know, 130 over 80 is pre-hypertensive. You have to look at the big picture, okay? So, yes, I'm trying to get it lower. I would love for that thing to read like 117 over 76 or something like that. But um, I realize that that's going to be uh, very difficult, especially while I'm trying to bulk. So, that's what's up. This is meal two. I'm going to eat this, and then I'll see you all for meal three. <laughs> One cup of rice again, four ounces of bone broth again, uh, seven ounces of flank steak, and five ounces of spinach. All right, so this is meal three. See you for pre-workout. All right guys, it's time to get this pre-workout in. We are doing shoulders today. We're gonna start off with a little bit of salt. Then we're going to add in one scoop of Total War and one scoop of Big Noise. Big Noise is a glycerol product. I know you guys have heard me say this before, but for any of you new viewers out there, Big Noise is a glycerol product. It is a pump product. It also has Hooperzine A in it, which is a focus agent. So, Technically, you could take this on your own, but if you want a little extra boost with some caffeine, that's where Total War comes into play. This is the exact same flavor. Both of these flavors are Tiger's Blood. We have tons of different flavors at Redcon 1. Um, but this comes with caffeine, citrulline malate, beta alanine, taurine, agmag ag agmantine sulfate, and uh, yeah, just it, it just ups the game a little bit here. So we're gonna do one scoop of this. And then I like to sip on my pre-workout for like about 30 minutes. Um, sip on this for 30 minutes. Once it's gone, then it's time to make the intro workout shake and get the hell out of here. So I'm going to shake this up and start having it. If you guys want any of these products that you're gonna see me use today, Use the link down in the description box below and use my code at checkout. It's T20ChaseI. It will get you 20% off everything that you order. 20% off. It's a pretty good deal. We do have lots of sales that go on at Redcon 1. <clears throat> Typically, at least once a month, we do have a 50% off sale, whether it is for a weekend or for like a happy hour. Usually, you know, randomly in the month, they'll do 50% off from like 5 to 7 p.m. And I usually can update you guys on those on my Instagram. It's just at Chase Irons. When there's no sales going on, you need something, T20 Chase I will get you 20% off. If you're using another code that Redcon 1 provides, it gives, gives you like say 50% off, then you would put my name down in the tier operator referral box. 
in your cart. That's where that is. So you'll put my name, Chase Irons, right in there. That still gives me credit. And guys, you probably don't realize this, but the whole like getting credit for sales thing is very important. I mean, I do get a kickback from Redcon 1 for all the sales that I make. I make 10% commission on all my sales. And it really does help. Like, if you want to support the channel in any way, that's your way to do it. Go to Redcon 1, buy your supplements from there, give me credit for it. And it just gives me a small little payment each month to show that you guys appreciate the stuff that I put out. So do it, enjoy it, good products. I've been using this stuff for the last four or five months now, and I haven't had one complaint yet. So cheers, see you for the intro workout. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, we got our pre-workout in. It is time to... Head to the gym, so our intro workout consists of one scoop of grunt, this is an EAA powder, one scoop of tango, which is our creatine blend, consists of five grams of creatine monohydrate, uh, one gram of creatine HCL, and one gram of creatine magna power. It also has taurine in it, one gram of taurine, and one gram of ornithine aspirate, and two and a half grams of betaine anhydrous. So it's not just a creatine product, it's not just a mix of creatines, I mean, it's the same thing with like our, our BCAA powder. It's not just the BCAA powder. It's a little bit more than that, which makes it superior to other brands, creatine products, other brands, uh, BCAA, like our BCAA powder. Like most people would think like, well, why are you using BCAA? You already have EAA in there. Well, our BCAA powder also includes coconut water powder, uh, glycerol and even more taurine so it just kind of ups the taurine even more to help prevent like those painful back pumps if you don't use gear you probably don't know what that is but I mean I guess some people do experience it if they get like really high in carbs but you get a really intense back pump from doing certain exercises and uh, it's painful it's hard to even stand when you have a back pump so that's one thing that taurine really helps out with um, but yeah, glycerol is another pump product, hydrating product, and of course, coconut water powder is great for hydrating as well. So this isn't just your standard BCAA powder. That's the main reason that I include this as well. You get the benefits of having, you know, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, but uh, yeah, you get uh, the extra hydrating factors in there as well. Last on the list, we add one scoop of Cluster Bomb. Cluster Bomb is a cyclic dextrin. One scoop is 25 grams of carbs. That is all we do. Is our intro workout shake. Again, redcon1.com, get all your stuff. Also, if you're a really big fan of Redcon 1, you can get this cool ring. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like it's made for Redcon 1, though. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I decided to get one of these. Number one, because yes, I am engaged. And number two, you gotta keep the hose guessing. Right, babe? This is it. We are gonna go head off to the gym now. We're doing shoulders, so... I will see you at the gym. If you don't want to see my workout, just skip the next couple minutes, and I'll see you for meal... four.
here is meal four. All right guys, what's going on? It is time for meal five, almost. Um, so today is a little different than most days. Uh, today, I have to go in and train three clients at five, six, and seven tonight. So that kind of falls right in line with meal five, because I usually have meal five at about 6 p.m. On days like this, the ideal, the most optimal thing to do would be to pack my food in a thermos, uh, which is what Stan recommends on the vertical diet. Um, however, I just don't have enough time in between clients. Like I have like a five minute gap between clients. And usually I do that to go to the bathroom and you know prepare for the next person. So what I do in days like this is I take MRE Light, Dreadcon 1's animal-based protein. Um, I'll take two scoops of that, put that into my shaker cup, mix that up, and I will sip on that until about six, okay? And then at six, I'm gonna have an MRE bar, all right? So what we've got, we've got these MRE bars. Now this is blueberry cobbler. In my last fulfillment from Redcon 1, I ordered one of every bar and so far they've all been really good. I mean, they, <clears throat> they all taste similar. There's just some very slight differences in each one, but they're all good. I mean, I've enjoyed eating every single one of these. So one of these has 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna get that in at six, right at six. Um, but from the hour of five to six, I'm gonna be sipping on two scoops of MRE Light, which is gonna be 48 grams of protein. So basically that'll give me about 68-ish grams of protein for meal five, along with, um, I mean, this has nine grams of fat and 29 grams of carbs. So it's not quite the same as having meal five with all the carbs that I usually get with it, but it'll be close enough. The main thing here is that we want to get our protein in. So having this and two scoops of MRE light and let me uh, put that together now. So like I said, the MRE light is an animal based protein in that it's made from beef protein, salmon protein, chicken protein. There's no pork in it. Um, rice protein. Did I already say salmon? I don't remember, but yeah, it's made out of whole foods, just like the MRE bar. Any product that Redcon 1 has that has MRE on it, that means it's made with real food. It doesn't have really much dairy in it, if at all, um, but yeah, it's mostly made from protein blend is beef protein, isolate, salmon protein, chicken protein, egg protein, brown rice protein, pea protein, gluten-free rolled oats, carbohydrate blend of yam, sweet potato, pea starch, coconut powder water. But yeah, I mean, you, you get the idea. It's made from whole foods. It's just not like a whey protein bar, um, like a Quest bar. It's not like a protein bar smashed together with fiber that's going to upset your stomach. I've never had any digestive issues having these. And then the MRE Light, because it has the MRE name in it, is basically a protein powder made of the same stuff. Uh, beef protein, salmon protein, chicken protein, all that. Now there's also an MRE powder, not MRE light, but just MRE, and that just comes with more carbohydrates, okay? It's more like a straight up meal replacement, whereas MRE light is more like a dairy-free protein powder that we can use. Personally, I like, I mean, I like all of them. My, my personal favorite so far has been peanut butter cookie. Uh, this flavor is oatmeal chocolate chip which actually does have like chunks of chocolate chips in it, um, which, you know, you do kind of get in your mouth and can crunch those up, which I do like, I like a lot. And I'd say it, it's, it's just as good as peanut butter cookie, it's just different. Um, it's a nice change up. But I went through a five pound tub of peanut butter cookie and I just wanted to try something different. So oatmeal chocolate chip is a, definitely a good alternative. This is meal five. It is currently 4.30 right now, so I'm not gonna start drinking this for another 30 minutes and then eating this at six. So that's meal five. I gotta head out, so I will see you guys when I get back at about 8 p.m. for my final meal of the day.